Hey everybody, it is 61 degrees out today, which is awesome. So today I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out my van to get it ready for sale. Um, like I said before, this is how I'm going to be able to make my move to Florida. And there's a lot of stuff I have to get done. So, let's just get on with it. First thing I have to do, sorry about that, is get everything cleaned out. Um, this is stuff still left over from Buckeye Games. So, I brought a cart out. So that way I can throw everything in and put it in storage or now this this here my daughter's going to start me start selling at the game so i'm just going to go ahead and give her this setup because uh campus rules are you are not allowed to have anything on the ground when you're selling on city streets so she'll need that and then those are my extra buckeyes that i might give to her or from what i hear it's a um there's a lot of OSU fans in Florida, so I might just take them with me and sell them. And let's see. I don't know why a pool noodle is in here, but it's going to the dumpster. The ice scraper and um, uh, battery jumper cables I still need. I'm going to leave them there. And I brought some water down to to kind of wipe it down and at least get it presentable looking. So that way I can it'll look good when they want to buy it. So it's a big thing I have to get done. This is, might take a while but It'll be worth it if I can get at least market value off of it. Now, this hoist here, I don't know if you can see it. This hoist is um, to be able to put scooters into the back here, so I'm going to sell it with that. And then also I'm going to leave my uh, portable ramps in to sell with it. Since I don't have the middle seats, um, this would be awesome for someone else that has a wheelchair because handicap vans are expensive so I figured just tack on a few extra dollars and go ahead and sell that with them because my plan is to be able to get a um, a uh, van with a lift after I get to Florida and try to get a part-time job but um, I can't work all day, but I can possibly work three hours a day and be able to save up and get one. But from what I'm hearing, Panama City has an awesome um, transportation department. So I should be able to um, get around on just the bus. I mean, if I don't really have to go anywhere for a while, I'll just... Uh, keep depending on the bus system the only time I think I would um, have to go anywhere is if I want to go sightseeing or something for them from what I hear I don't know how true it is but from what I hear a lot of the rental car companies up there have handicapped vehicles because you know such a large population is um, senior citizen or disabled so um, if that's the truth, I may not even get a vehicle and just rent for when I need it. Um, that would just make the most sense to me. Um, you know, such as if the kids come to um, Disney World or some, you know, Florida to visit, we can go to Disney World or something. I can just rent a van. So that's the plan. So I'm going to spend the day out here um, getting this finished at least an hour. I want to at least get the back done because the inside I can get wiped down and stuff tomorrow when it's a little cooler out. So that's what I'm doing today. And then I'm on, I think I got the pattern um, 
pretty well down for that argyle uh, pattern I was telling you about. Um, I'm gonna put that at the end of the video, let you see that. But oh, I hate cleaning out cars. Um, you just you just don't know what you um, gather until you get in here. I mean, the back I thought I had it pretty much under control until I un opened it. Um, I've tried to keep this clean since I obtained it, but I guess life happens. You just leave stuff in the car. But, okay, for that, I will see you later when I show you my scarf. And I'm going to get busy and try to get this done today. If I don't, I'll finish it up tomorrow. Okay, I got the back of the van done, except for vacuuming, which I will do when everything's finished. So I only have to take it to the um, car wash one time. But I wanted to show you my scarf that I have done so far. And I am my worst, own worst critic. And I would like your opinion. Does this look like Argyle to you? I don't know. I think maybe if um, I had more contrasting colors it would stand out to me more I mean sometimes I can see it like I can kind of see it here but then when I'm looking at it while I'm crocheting it um, I don't see it but this is so far this has only taken me um, about three hours to make it's kind of wide for a scarf but I don't know some people like the wider scarves I thought this would be, you know, this color here would be excellent for my grandson for a bed uh, spread. You know, you only have to uh, do the um, pattern longer, of course, but I think if I really concentrated on it, I could get it right, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but, yeah, so I am going to go lie down for a little bit before I go to church this evening and I want y'all to have a blessed day and I hope everybody's enjoying the warmer weather because I have a feeling that uh, it's going to get really cold really soon so y'all have a nice day and I will see you probably in a couple days bye